Good morning and welcome to Morning Star News. I um, have a, just a couple articles for you today. Um, one is about Twitch. Uh, they're banning more words. They're banning simp. Like, come on, guys. Um, the other one is about Robinhood, um, a stock trading platform, and, uh, you know, how they're kind of marketing their platform, um, which is not necessarily a good thing. Um, and I'm just going to talk about some things that might be coming up. Um, so let's get into it. So Twitch is at it again, banning words. Um, this time they're banning the word simp, <laughs> which um, it's coming under this new umbrella uh, policy coming into effect on J in January um, about uh, uh, banning words that uh, say derogatory things about someone's sexual preferences. Now, I don't know uh, what definition of simp they're going by, but uh, simp has nothing to do with someone's sexual preferences, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, so, yeah, the, the banning of the word simp, it just doesn't make any sense. It seems like another one of these things where one person got offended and, um, you know, they're just going hacking at it. Um, just like when they uh, banned the blind playthrough thing, um, it, it just seems totally unnecessary. There are other core fundamental problems with the platform and harassment and things like that, and simp isn't it. So I do feel like, you know, maybe simp started off as an insult, um, and according to the definition on uh, dictionary.com, you know, maybe it is, but it's used so much uh, more widely nowadays. Um, you know, it's usually applied towards men um, who are simping women, <laughs> um, you know, who are excessively uh, attentive and submissive to women uh, in particular, um, in the hopes of, you know, getting something out of them, whether it be, you know, attention or or, uh, you know, some kind of attention or some kind of a, a feedback from them or, I mean, nudes or whatever, um, but anything from them. Um, but yeah, so it's, the definition has changed and it's, right, so on Twitch it's being used a lot more for lots of different things. So yeah, just once again, it's uh, Twitch going at it, going overboard, targeting these, you know, these words that are, you know, problematic, quote unquote, um, but not actually addressing the issues, the fundamental issues with the platform. It just seems like they're doing too much, but at the same time, not enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, this is, uh, this platform, I'm not sure um, <laughs> how long they're going to last. So we'll see. So I decided to do some uh, investment in the stock market. Um, I figure pandemic at home, I've always kind of wanted to do this. Um, so yeah, we uh, set up a TD Ameritrade account, um, got the Thinkorswim software, and I've been on there um, doing live trades. Um, mostly, <laughs> honestly, just investing in Apple because um, it's a company that we use their products and we feel like the future for them is pretty bright. So we're in that for the long haul. Um, but it's interesting, you know, just watching the news, watching the ticker and things like that go up and down. Um, so that's our story. Um, the story here, however, is about a Robin Hood. Um, there's a lot of, you know, uh, what do you call novice investors getting in on the stock market. Um, you know, just like we have. And uh, Robinhood is, it's targeting them in a, in a interesting way. Like you, uh, you make a stock trade and confetti uh, comes up on your screen and, you know, little things like that, that um, it makes the trading process seem fun and, you know, lighthearted. But you know, this is people's real money. This is real companies. This is real investments. This is, you know, real stuff. This isn't, yeah, make it fun, but this isn't a game. And it seems like, 
you know, Robin Hood, it's their marketing and the, the way their software is designed. It seems like they're, um, you know, promoting it as some kind of a game or that's a perception anyways. And, you know, that's what that's what matters there. Um, so, yeah, Robin Hood is uh, Robin Hood is something. Um, and I think people just they need to make sure that they're educating people. And, um, you know, because, yeah, you need you want your money to work for you, but you have to be careful. Um, yeah, you just have to be careful. All right, and that's all I've got for you today. Um, got the AirPods Max coming in uh, via FedEx this evening. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to try Apple Fitness Plus. Um, have been wanting to get on that, but I've just been, you know, not feeling it. Um, but they do have some shorter workouts, and I um, hope to get in on that Uh uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in the mornings or the evenings, but we'll see. And uh, once I've got some uh, some of those uh, fitness programs under my belt, we might do a review or just, you know, talk about it a little bit. Um, but uh, that's it. Have a good day, everybody. Take care.